Ellen Kennedy and welcome to my channel. If you like videos about style, finding your style, watching or helping me find my style, please be sure to like and subscribe. Today we are going to go through a trunk club situation. I call it a situation <laughs> because I, okay, I have the same stylist. If you've been watching the saga, I do have the same stylist. And she wrote me a note when she put my trunk together and said, I am urging you to keep everything in this box the way it is, unless you already have something that is like it in your closet. And I was feeling some kind of way about that because I, you know, have, you know, I kind of feel like I know what I like and I know what I don't like, but I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can learn from this stylist. So I only removed one crazy pair of shoes and I said, please don't send shoes because I've had foot surgery and they're hard. And then she sent more shoes. So <laughs> let's go through, I will show you what I got and let's see if the advice of just leave it in the trunk if I put it in there is good. You know what? Maybe I'll learn some stuff. I'll explain as we go. This is an outfit as styled by Miss Shannon. All five pieces, including the shoes. And my first, my first, like the look of this, I actually really like it. I think it's really cool as an outfit, so that's nice. So several months ago, I requested a real leather jacket and it actually arrived this month with this one. And this leather jacket is, oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It's the Moto style jacket, has all of the, the hardware on it. It feels like butter. It's like, it feels really expensive and nice. The thing is, it's not the right size, so it's too small, but I really wanted to put it on for you so you could see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Um, it's got, see, my arms are longer than it, and uh, it's very tight uh, in the arms. But anyway, even though it's not my size, I think it's a really nice jacket. With the brightness of the hardware, I'm going to call it, the silver on the hardware, I think maybe I'd like something a little more subtle. It's hard to tell exactly what, how I might feel about it if it fit. Um, but I would tell you if you're thinking about getting a moto jacket, this one is so quality and lovely. So definitely worth a shot if you're in the market or looking for that. Now, I am loving this scarf. This scarf is, it's just poly, but I really love the pattern on it. And this is like a cozy, warm scarf. It might be too warm for inside. I'm kind of debating. I'm not sure if it would be too hot or it depends upon what you would wear it with, but I really, I really like it. It feels cozy and just like a nice warm scarf. So this is a good one too. Why the hell is the pocket down there? <laughs> We're not sure why the pocket is down here. I, you know, mock necks are not my favorite style um, by any stretch. Um, it is super soft and cozy. It's warm. This is a warm sweater. So that's cool. So she was trying to warm me up with this, I think. And, you know, it's okay. Super comfortable. These jeans. These jeans are... I loved them immediately when I put them on. They're high rise. And for me, um, that's nice. So they come up pretty high. They're so comfortable and stretchy. And they feel kind of like a thinner jean. Not terribly thin, but... Um, like I feel like these would be super comfy all day long and one of two pairs of shoes that I got are these um, and these are also very comfortable and I think could be worth buying if you're looking for something like this when I look down and it could be just my perception I feel like in places like back here on the heel and on here as the toe I'm 
this, this is Molly saying hi, on the heel and the toe, these are, to me it looks like it's worn off a little. Does it look like that to you on camera? Yeah, I think the front part does, the, the toes. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. So I don't know why, I guess they're this waterproofed sort of material, maybe that's why, but that would bother me because it looks, it, it, the color difference looks, like it just looks worn in certain spots. Um, but maybe that's not a big deal, but overall I think as you know, as far as like styling an outfit, that's so cool when I have an outfit style that I like. So thumbs up. All right, this is the next sweater. Shirt, sweater? What is this? Check it, check this out. You need to check out the, 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 the uh, I was gonna say pattern, but it's not exactly, this is like, I don't know what in the H, it's like arts and crafts or something. I, I, this is what the inside looks like. And it's not, it's smooth. Um, on the inside, I don't even know what to think of this. I mean, it kind of doesn't have a lot of shape to it. It's, um, I feel like if any of you go to Ikea and you've seen that, like, lamb rug, I used to have one, but it didn't agree with my dogs. <laughs> I feel almost like it looks like that rug a little bit. Um, which is weird. I, this is one I would have said no to in my cart, you know, I would have removed from my box, but I didn't because I don't have anything like this. And I can't really picture myself having anything like this in the future, but, um, it's, it leaves me slightly baffled. I'm trying to remain calm about about this, but since the second that I put it on, I have wanted to take it off. I have learned I am certainly not a statement sleeve person. Um, and this is what I would have removed this one. And it I looks just... like the dress is ripped to me <laughs> as a casual observer. <laughs> well, you know, it's supposed to be sexy. No. It's not. This is what, it feels pretty cheap too, you know, it's not very expensive looking, uh, feeling material. It's kind of, um, this is, it's just definitely a no for me. I just, I can't handle it, but I didn't remove it as instructed. So I'm, at least I tried, right? <laughs> All right. New pants and shirt. Uh, this shirt is it's a pretty thin it feels like a summer shirt I feel like um, so it's very very thin and I just feel like I have to be like you can't handle the pattern I just, <laughs> what is it with me I don't know it's not that bad it's not that much but kind of a lot of black and white pattern I guess is it, or is it navy it's blue is it blue would it look good with jeans maybe no I had it on with those jeans first and I didn't like it with that either but then okay here are my pants <laughs> um and I don't love these pants either I feel like they just they're pulling here and um but they're comfortable I think you know if they fit somebody correctly they could be you know you could absolutely wear them all day they can double as leggings maybe they're supposed to be leggings they're skinny legs I don't know um these shoes however are exceedingly comfortable the ones that I've had on uh the whole time so the shoes remain comfortable but they also remain to bother me and look worn when they're brand new so there's that um so I'm not sold on these pieces but I need to let patterns simmer. Here I am in a dress. There's something about the way this fits that I, I really think it's the wrong size or something. It's uh, This is not good for me here. I, or if it's supposed to lay this way, I really don't like. Really not liking it. Um, so this is the style of the dress. I feel like it should be cuter than it is. I want to like it more than I do. 
But if you can zoom to this detail, I just feel like it's so cheap. I guess I pay attention to these details. Can you see this? Where it's like... Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's like fraying or something. Mm -hmm. And to me, it looks like it's just kind of an unfinished or almost like what the lining of an inside of the dress would look like. Um, and to me, that's just not impressive. Um, it has the right idea for sure, for sure. Um, but it's just just not quite right. It just it feels really cheap to me. Now, um, the shoes. Let me tell you about these freaking shoes. These are the ones that got added after I said, please don't add any more shoes. These are leather and they are expensive. And I have slippers that have more support than these do. Um, I did look at the reviews online and people love them, but they're like, I am on my sixth pair. I, I have eight pairs of these. And I'm like, how long do they last if you have had that many pairs of them? Um, so anyway, I, I, I can tell you as an old lady who's had foot surgery that these are not podiatrist approved for any kind of support. Because if you can do this to the shoe, he'd say, uh-uh, you don't have enough support in them. If you're looking for comfort or a slipper to run around the house, that's what I would say that these are for. But at this price point, mm, not so much. I so want to love this. It just does not fit right. But oh, if you have the silhouette for this, you should buy it. It's so cute. Um, it's just, it's like too big in my waist and this is pretty big and this is pretty small. I don't think it could get any uh, tighter in the sleeves. Um, and it kind of does, you know, some weird bunching here because of how it fits, but oh, so cool. I'm just gonna, because I, I wanna show you this, um, I'm gonna put it on just with a belt really quick so you can see when it's like a little bit more on lockdown, you can you can see, you know, what would happen for you if it would fit your silhouette better. If I got a bigger size, thumbs down. If I got a smaller size, thumbs down, I think. So I'm a little out of luck with this, but oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. And I think it's um, very classic and it's a beautiful dress. Uh, let's uh, regroup. All right, that was pretty fun. I'm coming at you with a regrouping of my favorite two things. That's definitely the pants and the scarf. And I think these are really fitting, or well, <laughs> these are fitting great, right? The scarf. Um, the scarf just is so cozy and I really am loving that. And these jeans, ooh, I'm loving these jeans. I'm not loving the price point, but these jeans. Ooh, definitely, definitely worth considering. They, they're just so nice and soft and wonderful. I think uh, maybe I need to read up on the reviews and see if people are loving them. So, also, I'm inspired to do some more uh, thrift shopping based on what I got in there. Um, that mock neck sweater, which I'm not a huge fan of for mock neck, um, is kind of an interesting thing that I never would have thought that I liked. Um, maybe I could get something similar like that. And I did love that soft moto jacket as well. I, you know, if you're looking for something that just feels so nice, it's beautiful. Um, I'm really glad that I got it this time. I'm not sure that that's the right one for me, but at least now I know kind of where I'm leaning towards. So that was really helpful. So I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. And we will see you next time.